Hey there, I'm Josh with Appliancevideo.com. Today we're going to go through the history of appliances and how they've changed over the years, as well as how they have changed our lives. So strap into your time machine and let's dive in. Be sure to visit Appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of videos on the latest technology. For a limited time, you could save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. To understand the evolution of appliances, we have to go way back to the beginning. In the early days of human history, people had to do things like wash their clothes by hand and grind grain using a mortar and pestle. It was hard work, and it took a lot of time. But as society evolved, people began to look for ways to make their lives easier. Mix that with an increased desire for leisure, and the industrial era booming with jobs that had you away from your home, it was only a matter of time before appliances started to swoop in and fill the void. One of the earliest appliances was the washboard, which was invented in the 17th century. It was a simple wooden board with a series of ridges on one side, and it was used to scrub clothes clean. It was a big improvement over hand washing, but it was still a lot of work. At that time, during the Stuart period, outer garments were not commonly washed due to being made of delicate and expensive fabrics. The undergarments were washed, however, as they were made from a sturdier linen. But the hard work aside, there are other things about 17th century laundry that would raise an eyebrow such as the common practice of using urine from the home chamber pots to soak the clothes in before washing. They used it as a sort of disinfectant, and even referred to it as chamber lye. This was a common practice from the Romans all the way into the 19th century, so washing machines and detergents couldn't come soon enough. As the years went by, more and more appliances were invented. In the 19th century, we saw the invention of a number of appliances that would become household staples. For example, the washing machine by James King in 1851, and in 1871, Carl von Lind invented the first practical refrigerator. While these appliances revolutionised life for many, they were still not widely available outside of the upper class. And without electricity, they were still reliant on ice blocks and hand-cranked laundry, and I'm sure there were those who held onto their trusty chamber lie. It wasn't until the 20th century that appliances really started to take off. With the development of electricity, people could now power their appliances with the flip of a switch. This led to the creation of things like electric stoves, electric self-washing machines, and powered refrigerators, which made life even easier. In 1906, the first electric washing machine was invented, and it quickly became a household staple. And in the 1920s, electric refrigerators began to replace the older icebox-style refrigerators. As appliances became more common, they also started to become more affordable. In the 1950s and 1960s, mass production techniques and cheaper materials made it possible for appliances to be produced at a lower cost. This made them more accessible to the average person, and as a result, appliances became an integral part of modern life. Now, we're in the 21st century, and the modern appliance has evolved significantly. With a focus on energy efficiency, the integration of AI sensors, and smart home connectivity, appliances pretty much run themselves and are an afterthought. So while you're sitting there enjoying life, not having to chip away at an ice block, collect firewood, or empty your chamber pot into your wash bin, take a moment to reflect on how difficult our ancestors had it, and then think about what we have to look forward to in the future. So there you have it, from simple washboards to smart appliances, the history of appliances has come a long way. If you learned something, like the video and subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next one.